Hey guys, and welcome to Kubernetes the Hardest Way. I am really excited to get to bring you guys this series. This is all built off of Kelsey Hightower's GitHub repo called Kubernetes the Hard Way. I highly recommend you go check out his work. Um, the big deviation that we're going to do in this series is we're going to build our infrastructure off of KVM and not Google Cloud's compute. Uh, I'm gearing this set of videos towards people who are going to build and maintain Kubernetes clusters. It's vitally important that when you set out to build and maintain these services, that you're intimately aware of how all of the components of a Kubernetes cluster interact and communicate together. So let's get started. For our nodes, you will notice three nodes of etcd, the control plane, and the load balancers. These types of configurations will give us the minimum for a highly available cluster. You can always run your redundancy with sizes of 5, 7, and 9, but more on the pros and cons of those configurations later. I want to make it clear, I would never recommend using this method in a production environment. This is a learning experience. We will imitate what you need in a production environment, but there are tools like automatic cert management and faster and easier cluster changes that you will want when running in production that this method cannot give you. For our cluster, we're going to be running Kubernetes 115, Container D12, Core DNS 16, CNI 07, etcd. 3, 4. And we'll do all of this with SSL-based communication. If you don't quite understand or recognize all of these components or technology, that's okay. We will explore each of them a little bit later. For OS, I picked OpenSUSE Leap. There are a couple reasons for this. One of the main reasons is I wanted a distribution that had a lot of support but no inherent support for Kubernetes. Ensuring we do everything the most difficult way and providing that if you were to follow along, you'll be able to follow along with just about any distribution that you would like. If you're looking for more OpenSUSE Kubernetes distributions, check out the OpenSUSE Cubic project or the CASP project. I really hope that you find these videos as useful to you as they were to me when I made them. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments.